shake the relax your legs those slight short leg on the right side let's get you to raise your right leg from your hip and down left leg and down let's do right leg one more time for me please up okay and down left leg all right and down so that's what's called a passive hip extension test I use it to differentiate between subluxation or malalignment of the L5 lumbar facet joint and the sacroiliac joint. So when a patient raises their leg and one leg is higher or lower than the other, the lower side generally indicates a, a malpositioning of the L5 lumbar facet joint. And the, if there's a short leg, like you see on the right side that will generally indicate that it's a sacroiliac joint you can however have uh, a situation where a patient has a short leg on the same side that the pass passive hip extension test is lower that will just mean that the leg length inequality is coming from that joint 